identify as gay. Lesbian. Gay and non-binary conformative. Being queer in Utah is an interesting experience. I feel like it's a roller coaster. It's definitely not easy. It is a little suffocating at times. Challenging. It is definitely not easy. I call myself a walking contradiction a lot. I feel kind of like an invisible minority. Sometimes it can be hard like getting people to accept you. It almost feels like it has to be a secret. It feels like your identity is on the battlefield. It's always a topic of controversy. So sometimes it can feel difficult trying to settle into your identity. It's tough because you want to fit in um, with everyone at school. You don't want to disappoint anyone. It's just kind of scary. I don't know how people will react. So I don't know how people will treat me. You encounter a lot of situations where if people knew that you were gay or queer, you know that they might treat you different. Some people like treat you differently after they find out that you're gay. My fears before coming out was the fear of the unknown. Relationships, I was really afraid of how my grandparents and my parents would react. Fear of rejection, fear of being alone. You risk losing relationships. Mainly my family. What would I do if I lose my family? Am I gonna be okay with this? It's really hard not to feel normal all the time. I think I just kind of wanted to live a really normal life and not be very different. I hated not knowing what life was going to look like for me, who was even going to be in that picture, what my relationship to God was going to look like. I had fears that people would think that my relationship with God had changed. I thought that because I was gay that people would no longer think of me as a spiritual person. My spirituality and my relationship with the church and with religion. I was definitely afraid of disappointing myself, disappointing my family and my friends. I was afraid of disappointing God. Is my family going to accept me? Are my friends going to accept me? I was scared what my family would think, but mostly it took me longer to accept myself than anybody else. There are a lot of great things about coming out. You feel like free. This bag of rocks is just like gone. I finally feel like I found me. I began a journey of authenticity where I finally felt like I was accessing a part of myself that had been hidden and suppressed. Freedom. I got to be who I was and who I'd always wanted to be, and I didn't have to be scared anymore. I actually got to live what I was saying. There's this huge weight that goes away when you come out of the closet. It's like this burden that you've been keeping in your whole life that all of a sudden is free. It's like this bird. Things make more sense. I just felt like I was able to be me. That feeling that I got when I felt like I could be my full self, I couldn't stop smiling. It was almost like I uh, was starting over again. It felt like really relieving just because I wasn't holding in anything anymore. Just being able to live your life. Just because I was different than everyone in my family didn't make me less than. It just gave me something else like super cool to offer. I had a moment in my life where I didn't think for health reasons that I was gonna live. The thought in my head was was not regret for things I had done, it was for things I hadn't, not being myself. I decided from there on out, Jess was gonna be who people were gonna see. Before, I didn't know what it felt like to be loved by people. People would say, oh, I love you, or I think you're great, but I would be like, yeah, okay, but you don't know that I'm gay, <laughs> or whatever. If you knew, you probably wouldn't like me or love me anymore. Since coming out and being authentic with people and letting them know, I can actually trust that someone really does care about me no matter what. I always just imagine myself at the top of a peak, holding my hands up high, and I finally reach the top of the summit. Elevate to me makes me feel like I'm on the top of a mountain, and like I have conquered the peak. Elevate has to do with taking myself from one place and rising to a better one. Elevation has always been about being more like Carson. Elevate, to me, it's whatever state you're at, you can be higher. When I think of Elevate, I always think of helping other people. To elevate means to push beyond your fear and to accomplish something that everyone tells you you can't do. Elevate means to rise above, to go above and beyond. I just focused on elevating myself to be who I was. I hear the word and I think of that journey to the summit and when you hit the summit you turn around and you look back and you see that growth. It's overcoming the hard times and difficult times in your life and rising above it. And so to me that's what elevate means, is having those experiences that may not always seem like they're uplifting, but turn out to be. My name's Levi. My name's Karen Deicher Fernanda. My name is Zach Barker. My name is Jordan. My name is Addison Jenkins. My name is Jess. My name is Sarah. My name is Carson. My name is Jordan. My name is Mel. My name is Aubrey. My name is Meg Warner. And, and I, I choose to elevate. elevate.